evening and welcome to Information Please, your Peoria Public Library on the air. Back with part two of Books to Look For for Kids with Nina Burbank, who's one of our great children's librarians, and which um, many of you probably know her from doing story times. But she also goes out and researches what the latest, greatest books are. And in this case, she's got the books that are coming out between now and December. A few of them may have hit our shelves, but most of them aren't there yet. So we're excited to hear about these. Hi, Nina. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite thing. Oh, to yeah. To find out what's coming. <laughs> yeah, what's coming. So let's start out with picture books, and then we'll move and get a little bit older as we go. Okay. Um, August, where we are. Um, I wanted to do this one first. Let me show you. This is like okay. five-minute stories frozen. All right. I've heard a rumor that there's going to be a second, a sequel. Yeah, the first I heard one. that too. So I know that this is going to be super popular. I work with little tiny girls, yeah. and it's all about the Frozen. Yeah. Anna and Elsa, Anna and Elsa. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be a popular one. I oh, just yeah. know it. <laughs> it's everything Frozen. I haven't seen anything like this since The Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is going to be a great one. Mm -hmm. um, the other one I want to talk about is a sequel to a picture book that I absolutely love. Um, the, the first book is called Red, Okay. A Crayon Story, and the, actually, the story is actually about a crayon that has a red cover, but is actually a blue crayon. Oh dear, poor thing. Yeah, and so everyone expects him to be, do red things, but he can't because he's blue. He's a blue crayon. Right, and so it's about being true to yourself, finding your own self, not listening to others about what you should do and what their expectations of you are. Mm -hmm. Because when he finally realizes what he is, then he like, he just triumphs. It's mm -hmm. great. And you wouldn't think that a crayon story yeah, would, would be that yeah, way. Yeah, would be fun. <laughs> so I guess it was so popular that the author decided to do another one. Oh, all right. The Day the Crayons Came Home. Aw. So, yeah, another heartwarming warming story about, about crayons. crayons. What would life be without crayons? We wouldn't be able to do it. hardly no. without crayons. And mm -hmm. kids would be so sad. Yeah. yeah. Especially the ones that eat them. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a sequel to a book that is just the strangest book. It's, it's Where's Walrus? Oh. Kind of seems like a takeoff on Where's Waldo because you're always yeah. looking for Walrus and he's in disguise. He doesn't oh. like he's not out in plain sight. Himself. Yeah. Right. He's always. Where's Waldo? You know, if you can find him in the crowd, he always looks the same. Walrus. Is walrus not. always always hiding like in this. Even on the cover, he's got his hat on, but yeah. he has other disguises too. All right. So the next one in the series is Where's Walrus and penguin oh so i don't know where he's going with this if he's just going to keep adding animals on <laughs> the walrus is going to have new friends yeah, or, yeah. but yeah and so nuance. this is this is like where they're going so it's kind of funny it looks like they're together there on the cover yeah. so well and what fun fun book with kids to read to kids you know like where is he where are they and you get that whole recognition game going mm -hmm. so yeah this is nice. a fun one just like the first one was yeah. so yeah i think it's going with that um Next set, Carl is back. He was gone for a while, but now Carl is back. This is Carl's Halloween. Aww. They were supposed to stay home. They didn't. They went out trick-or-treating together, the boy, the dog and the little little baby, which is not quite a baby anymore. He, uh -huh. the, they've grown, him, grown the child up a little bit. So, And as usual, not very many words. So very simple. Very simple with the pictures. And Carl is, what, a Rottweiler? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Always dwarfs the child. So. Yeah, yeah. But he's a good guardian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby never gets into trouble when she's with him. Carl is there. With watching. Carl's guardian. But they do have a lot of adventures. So, kind of fun. Um, I don't know if everyone's familiar with Ladybug Girl. Very, very cute series. Aww. It's about a little girl and she always dresses up like a ladybug. And all her friends dress up like, they're kind of like superhero kind of thing. Yeah. And all her friends dress up like a certain character. And they've had different books this i can't remember what this is in the series it's been there's been at least five or six of them but um each one finds their own identity their own little dress up that they do and this particular one she is with finney who is grasshopper girl and they're very good friends and finney has a toy that's amazing and ladybug girl really gets into that toy and she kind of forgets her friend oh. and then the toy gets broken uh-oh 
So it's about the value of a great friend who a doesn't... A friend instead of a toy. A friend and also a friend who doesn't mind that maybe you accidentally broke their toy. So, you know, it's kind mm -hmm. of a really good... All of hers are really about friendship and how we deal with our friends and just kind of going that mm -hmm. route of, you know, the different situations that friends can get into. Huh. So it's just, a, they're just really yeah. sweet stories. Yeah. Um, Prince Fly Guy. <laughs> I know that they More have... With the bugs. Yeah, yeah, he has devoted fandom. I know he does. Yeah. This one, <laughs> this one puts um, the young boy who is his, um, I guess, kind of owner of his pet, Fly. Yeah, um, <laughs> your pet Fly. Decides to write a fairy tale. Well, he wants to put Fly Guy in the fairy tale, but Fly Guy doesn't want to be the villain, and he doesn't want to be the sidekick, and he doesn't. So he winds up being the prince. He's the prince, the he's star the of the show. He's, yeah, he winds up being the star of the fairy tale. So he's happy. <laughs> and I'm glad Fly Guy is happy. Yes. <laughs> um, another return, um, I don't know what you want to call it, return... Uh, something, is a Doreen Cronin series of Click Clack. Oh, okay. I call it Click Clack Farm. I don't know if it has a real name. Okay. But um, Duck is at it again. Santa's on his way. It's Christmas at the Click Clack Farm. The farmer has decorated, and it's all good. But Duck always goes over the top. Oh, too much. So, yeah, will Christmas, will Christmas survive? Is Duck going to get anything from Santa? Mm -hmm. So it's like what's going to happen. Yeah. And this is coming out in August, so you have plenty of time before yeah. Christmas to so. uh, to get down and read it and yeah. see what's going on. So yeah. that's the August offerings. <laughs> Some of them are way ahead of their time, but that's all right. We can read ahead. Um, the next series, um, Llama Llama, Gram and Grandpa. Oh, yeah. Llama Llama. Llama Llama. I think of Llama Llama as the um, every preschooler. Ah, okay. His situations are very, very much preschool. He is a llama, but his situations are like what most preschoolers go through. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like going to visit grandma and grandpa, and the unthinkable happens. The favorite bedtime toy is left behind. Oh, no. So grandpa's, he's a sly, sly llama, and he knows what to do to make it all better oh. so that bedtime can happen. Yeah. <laughs> So that's a really a really good one. The um, next one I'm going to talk about is I'm I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with the napping house. If they aren't, you need to run right down to the library right now and get the napping house. And get house. the napping house because you should know the napping house. Okay. However, this napping house was made many 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 years ago by mm -hmm. Audrey and Don Wood. Okay. A couple that work together very nicely. They have a new one called the Full Moon of the Napping House. Oh. Which sounds kind of creepy, but yeah. Uh, it's all about no one is sleeping in the napping house. Mm. No one can get to sleep. Because not grandma, not grandson, not cat, not dog. Nobody gets to can get to sleep until they have a visitor with a very soothing song. Ah, which okay. you're going to have to wait for the book to get here in September. Okay. Before you can find out who that is. Yeah. Nice. But it should be coming. So well, it looks watch like for a, that. It looks like a great book for fall with full moons. I always think of fall and full moons. And oh, yeah. It gets dark early, so good book to read about sleeping. Yes, that's a really good book for the early preschooler. Now, the next book I want to talk about is Austin Lost in America. And this is by, and I'm going to probably slaughter his name, but Jeff um, Zeska, I think. Okay. I think that's how you say it, but he'll probably, can, you know, I don't know. He was the one, I did this one earlier, like a few shows ago. I did new books, and I did Cat yeah. Secrets. Was new then? Yeah. This is, his, one of, this is his newest one. Okay. And it's just, it's hilarious. And this is funny because I know what it's about, and I have seen some of it. Because if you go to Amazon, and I hate to plug Amazon, but if you go to yeah. Amazon, they have a book trailer for this one. Oh, and book trailers hilarious. are great. hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. So if you want to know about the inside of the book, go and watch the book trailer. Okay. Though I will tell you that <coughs> it's about a dog who escapes from the pet shop and travels the entire United States. Ah, oh, wow. That's quite a trip. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, and he uh, hits every state. So he has a thing for every single state, including Illinois. Oh, great. Well, I'd like to see what he does in Illinois. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be great. 
Um, the last one on this particular slide is called Waiting. It's by another oldster, Kevin Hinkis, and I did say his name right. Okay. Also coming out in September, it's about five toy friends that are waiting for something to happen. And each one is something different. And so like the owl is waiting for the moon and the pig is waiting, waiting for rain. Um, the bear is waiting for the wind and the puppy is waiting for snow. And the rabbit, he just likes to wait. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very gentle story like most of Hinkus' yeah. stories are pretty, pretty, you yeah. know. They're all waiting well, they're not for something. Waiting for anything extreme, just. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of a thing about you know kids have to wait a lot. Yeah, they and do. And so this is about waiting and how much fun waiting can be. Yeah, and so you have to wait. Yes, so that's kind of a you know, just another sweet story. Yeah. Um, also, um, in October, uh, Ellen Stoll Wash, which if you know her, you know her. If you don't, you don't has got a new book out called Where's Jumper? She did Mouse Pain and Mouse Shapes and a plethora of other ones that, if, like I said, if you know her, you know her. If you don't, go and, yeah. go and look. Go library. find out. Yeah. yeah. Go find out. They're great. Um, Eric Carl, who everyone should oh, know. Yeah. Everybody should know Eric Carl. He's been on a thing where he has really been promoting um, art styles. Oh, great. His last book, The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse, was his um, nod to Franz Mark, who was an inspiration for him. And it's a very good book. Very good book. Um, this one is called The Nonsense Show. And it's, it's got strange, funny pictures on every page, but it's very much about surrealism. Oh, okay. So uh, check it out. I mean, you can see that there's a duck coming out of a banana skin on uh -huh. the cover. So yeah. it's all about... <laughs> oddities and strangeness and how mm -hmm. art works in the surreal oh that's cool so yeah he's that's really... a great book not only for for parents but for anybody who's involved in oh yeah for teachers to doing yeah with art. kids mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's it's a great book and like i said he's been on this kick he really wants to promote art with kids that's wonderful so this is his his thing now um mo willems who has always got a book out always always he's got another one coming out in october besides elephant and piggy um the story of diva and flea flea is of course the cat yeah. lives on the streets the mean streets yeah diva is a very <laughs> privileged little westy dog who lives in a, in a very nice house mm -hmm. and how they meet and how even though they don't really have a lot in common they become friends and do things together Aww. So just about how, just because someone's a little bit different doesn't mean you can't be friends. Yeah. So another little hint for that. Yeah. Um, Jack Frost, which I'm not going to go into a whole lot. It's part of the William Joyce Guardians of Childhood series. This is the picture book series. He has a, a chapter book series, too. Okay. And that's coming out. He's also got Man in the Moon and um, the Sandman in this series so far. Okay. And they're just really beautiful illustrations. It's him at his best. <laughs> um, and of course, Wilma Willems, yet again, Elephant and Piggy. So, I really like Slop. <laughs> just what you'd expect with them. From, from Elephant and Piggy, yeah. yes. yes. Um, chapter book-wise, there's two that I really want to highlight, and the others I'll just say something about. Okay. Um, the League of Unexceptional Children is a new series. Oh, that sounds good. It's um, coming out in October. It's about 12-year-old Shelly and Jonathan who are average kids. They are unexceptional. and this, It's nice to be average. Right, forgettable, normal, and looked over, which is what the league is looking for in children because they can get in there and not be seen because nobody sees the kid who's forgettable. Yeah. So they go in to save the world. It's like the everyman junior. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, there's a breach in the White House. Several monumental things have happened. The vice president is missing. All the nation's greatest spies are deactivated, and confidential documents and data are compromised. Goodness. Call in the average kids. Yeah. <laughs> they can save, save the, the world. Yes. So this is all about your average. Oops, sorry. Let me move this here. Whoops. Go back. No, I didn't even do that. We'll go over here. We'll go. Uh, there are there they are being average. You can see they're looking average, but their shadows. Are, are super, shows. super spies, yes. Yes. How fun. Um, Actually, it looks a little bit like the old Boris and, Boris and Natasha from yeah, they Rocky do, don't and they? I wonder if they went that way. It's kind yeah, of funny. I, it almost looks like that's intentional. That's funny. Um, the other one I really want to talk about is uh, Upside Down Magic. Got a very nice cover on this one. 
What's remarkable about this book is that it has three authors, and they're all well-known authors. Oh, all right. So it's um, Lauren Miracle, um, Emily Jenkins, and um, uh, Sarah, let me see if I can say her name, Malowski, Malowski? Sarah Malowski's done um, the Whatever After series and Magic in Manhattan series. Um, and then Lauren Miracle, of course, has done the Internet Girls at TTFL um, and the Winnie Years. And then Emily Jenkins did that wonderful book that I, I think I re reviewed last time, A Fine Dessert. Oh, okay. About the Blackberry Fool down yeah. to the ages. Yeah, that was a good one. And this is coming out in September. And what I really like is a quote from Sarah who said, um, I wrote this book with Lauren Miracle and Emily Jenkins, two brilliant writers who happen to be two of my closest friends. And how do three, people's write, three people write a book together? In a nutshell, I outline, Lauren writes the first draft, and Emily edits. But oh, they all, well, there you go. Yeah, they all do a lot of everything. So that's basically their, their jobs. So, Fun. So that, I thought that was kind of interesting that they would get yeah, together. Yeah, collaborative effort yeah. like that. And yeah. I'm sure all their fans would love to know that they're all friends. Yeah. So I thought that was That's pretty cool. cool. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to flip back just a little bit. I wanted, sure. to, I wanted to put in a plug for somebody, so let me flip right. back to this last slide here. Okay. Five Minute Nancy, Fancy Nancy stories are coming out in December, and I right. just wanted to point out that we're also having a Fancy Nancy party. We are. On December 20th. A big one. I think at North It's right? at North, North Branch. Branch. It's, that's a Sunday afternoon, and it's going to be just a wonderful, it's things going on in several rooms and all sorts of fancy Nancy activities. I think everyone will have a great time. Yeah. And not just girls. Yeah. Boys can be fancy too. Yeah, boys can be fancy. And uh, I just enjoy these books and what a you know great way to grow vocabulary. But what I like is they're all sparkly. Yeah, it's you all know, about they're the sparkly sparkle. books, but with a big vocabulary. So <laughs> that just shows you that you can be fancy and still be a brain. Right. And have a very large vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, so I hope everybody will read Fancy Nancy, right. and I hope they'll all come to our great big Fancy Nancy celebration. There'll be a lot more coming out about it right. in Passages, our newsletter, and in Kitty Vents. Right, so just watch for it. It's, yeah. There's going to be some advertisements probably on our website mm -hmm. in Kid Events, probably in the December Kid Events. There might be something in November. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, just, yeah. And we'll get see. the book. They're fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the books are a blast. Okay, so um, new books, old series. Um, Matt, Margaret Patterson Haddix has been around for a while, and mm -hmm. she's done a lot of series. There was the um, Hidden series that everyone was into for, like, ever. Yeah. And now she's doing, this is the Missing series, which she's been working on for quite a few years, too. Okay. This is Redeemed, and this is coming out in September. This is her, um, this is her latest for that series. So watch for okay. that one. Sounds good. Um, Frankenstein by John Sheska, who did the Time Tor Warp Trio and the Stinky Cheese Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is book three of the series. I read the first one. They're kind of fun. He's like a genius. He puts together the robot. He's like always got something going. He's got a lab. His, his grandfather's also got... Kind of the mad scientist. Yeah, so it's like mm -hmm. he's passed down through that. So it's kind of just fun, like how do they do this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's always making something crazy. So, you know, if you like that kind, if you're really into, like, tinkering with things and how does this work, try this series out. I think you'll have fun. Yeah, and there's, there's a lot of kids that do enjoy that, the tinkering, the taking mm -hmm. apart, the rebuilding. Oh, yeah, I've known many. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Dave Pilkey has finally come out with another new Captain Underpants. I'm sure that his fans have been waiting with bated breath. Oh, probably. This is, let me get this right, Captain Underpants and the Sensational Saga of Sir Stinks a Lot. Oh, no. Because <laughs> you know it always has to be potty humor. Yeah, yeah, always potty humor. Um, and we do have some folks that have objected to that, but on the other hand, if it's not your cup of tea, don't read them. Right, and there's plenty of kids that, that's got them on the road to reading. Yeah. So I'm so okay with that. So whatever it takes. Um, Judy Moody and Stink, her little brother, speaking of Stink, um, mm -hmm. have a new book out, The uh, Wishbone Wish. And, and it looks out. a little pilgrimy. Yeah, yeah, I think they're coming out in September, so probably a little Thanksgiving around the yeah. edges. Yeah, fine. Uh, Shiloh Christmas. Um, this is the last of the court, Shiloh Quartet. 
Okay. Which, believe me, I wish I could read, but I can't. It's just got too many sad bits in it. So just Aww. be warned, okay? Anything with an animal that's going to get, yeah, I can't. I can't I go can't, there. can't do that? I can't do that. But I know that there's plenty of fans of the Shiloh series. Okay. So, right. yeah. Just so you know, that's coming out in um, September also. So okay. we've got some good September ones coming out. Yeah, September it sounds like a good month for new books. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the series. Boy, were we wrong about the human body. And the series is Boy, Were We Wrong about whatever. Yeah. And um, this one is about all the false things that we thought down through the ages about the human body and how oh, we yeah. found out that, no, that's not right. Yeah. So well, that's kind of interesting for... Yeah, it's, it's a good series. Um, mm. They go through all different things. The human body is just this latest one, but check it out. If you put in Boy, Were We Wrong, it's going to pull it up in the catalog yeah, and all the different series. Find it. Yeah. yeah, so that's Neat. kind of a fun one. Um, well, you know, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, every single fall, it seems like he comes out with a new Wimpy Kid one. This is um, old school, and he still looks pretty downtrodden to me. <laughs> so. Yeah, he still looks pretty wimpy, and he's got a giant boom box, and it looks like a cassette tape, so apparently we've old school might have something to do with yeah. Not having the latest technology. Right, which, you know, is always going to get him into trouble. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Um, other books by familiar authors that um, you may not know are familiar. Um, R.J. Palacio wrote Wonder, which was like a huge hit when it came out. It got tons of wonderful reviews. <coughs> it's about a young boy who's a, an amazing person but has facial um, problems. Okay. His face is somewhat deformed. Um, this new book is called Augie and Me. That was the name of the character in the book, Wonder. And it's three wonder stories, and it's about Augie through, his three, through three of his friends' eyes. Oh. So we get a different view of <coughs> Augie through each of these different kids. Of Augie, even though he may not look exactly alike. It's how his friends see him. Mm -hmm. So what his friends see and know. That's mm -hmm. a, that's so that's good. kind of a nice one. Mm -hmm. um, the Marvels by Brian Selznick. He did The Invention of Hugo Cab Cabray. So, which was the Caldecott winner, very controversial Caldecott yeah. winner, because <laughs> uh, the book is like this thick. Uh. Um, again, intersecting stories, which are his specialty. Mm -hmm. He's got a story that begins in 1766. This is the um, illustrated story. It takes uh, Billy Marvel, he's a lone survivor of a shipwreck, and it goes through his whole family. Then we've got one that begins in 1990 that is the prose story. Oh, okay. And how they intersect with each other. Okay. Because he's done that before with his books. And what age group is that one for? This one is this one is actually pretty much along the same thing as Hugo Cabret. It's it's not a little kid book. It yeah. is actually for grade school kids. Okay. So I'm going to say cuz you know it is a very intimidatingly like, thick, but it does have the illustrations. So I'm going to say But then say, there's the kids who go looking for the thick books. But yeah. if a lot of it's illustration, it may not be Yeah, I'm thinking probably 4th, 5th, 6th, something okay. like that just that because of range. what's going on with it. Um, and then I have, I want to close with one more Fancy Nancy. All right. She has changed it. She has changed up a little bit. She just does her picture books. This is a chapter book for Fancy Nancy. So we're growing oh. up a little bit. Fancy Nancy looks a little older in the chapter books. She's doing more older kids stuff. And this is coming out in September. And people may not be aware that there is a new, new series. A new series for Fancy Nancy. It looks like Nancy Clancy. Mm-hmm. Nancy her Clancy. Name, her name has changed. Yeah, it's from... Fancy Nancy, Nancy Clancy. Okay. So, all right. Soccer mania. Soccer mania, yes. I think it says book six. So. Yeah. So people may not. I just wanted to point out to people that may not realize okay. that there's these chapter books out there for kids who still want Fancy Nancy, but. Yeah, they don't want to leave her behind on the right. on the bookshelf. They can still read about her. Yeah. yeah. So is that all your new books now? That's all my new books for okay. now. I could have done more, but I wanted to stop. So. Yeah, and there's, I don't even know how many books come out. But we've got a great way at the library for people to find that out. If you if you look um, on our web page, there are, is a page of reading suggestions, and it actually is sort of self-feeding from the publishers. Where you can click on kid books, you can click on romance, on mysteries, and it will every month it changes and shows you the new okay, books, yeah. what's out there, what you might want to be reading, and that's a great way to keep track of of what's available and read about, find something new to read. You know, mm -hmm. it's not always about, there's a lot of people that like to do this and they're constantly disappointed. These are the people we get the complaints from that come and want to see what's on the shelf and find something on the shelf. 
And certainly we have, you know, thousands of books on the shelf. But a lot of times the way to find something really good is to be watching for it, is to know what's coming, see it on our web page. And then we have book detectives. Do you want to explain how book detectives work? Um, That's I'm, on our web page too. Right. And um, I, I'm hoping you're talking about the two the ladies that I know. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm right. talking about your, your friends, the book detectives. <laughs> Which we will not say their did. names. No. <laughs> they're, they're incognito. Yes. You can um, fill out a form. Mm -hmm. On the website. On the website. and Or you can come in and do it, too. Yeah, they mostly have people do it on, on the website. Yeah. You fill out your form and say what your interests are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, fill out all the things. This is what I like. This is what I've read. I like mm -hmm. this kind of thing. And these are my interests. And then they will take that information and start looking for books that fit that. fit that. And they will send you a listing of books. I'm not sure how many they usually send. I'm thinking five to ten. Yeah books that fit your categories yeah. and then you can try those books out and see if that's a fit if it's not you can come back and say okay well i want to change this and this yeah so, i don't don't like that as much yeah so, but yeah and those are those are great tools they're called you know readers advisory and people who don't work in a library don't know what that means but it means helping people find books they'll enjoy reading mm -hmm. and you can always walk up to the desk and ask too and right. we have book page at at uh, Main Branch and at North Branch and at Lakeview Branch. It's, you know, a tabloid size newsletter that you can pick up, but that's also a, a condensed version of what's on our web page that you can look at and subscribe right. there's, to. There's plenty of ways to find mm -hmm. really good books. Yeah. Um, on our website, there's also our ebooks. Yep, yep. So, um, and I know there's a lady who fights for every, every bit of it, so. That gets there, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, and mm -hmm. we'll be seeing you around the library. Thank you so much for joining us on Information Please. We've got plenty of new books, and we're waiting to get them to you. Thank you.